Today we're going to show you how to change the color of anything into a beautiful gradient in Photoshop. Hello and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're going to show you how to select any object and change its color into a beautiful gradient that you can customize at any time. So we're going to be changing the color of this ice cream. I love it. I just want a gradient. It's going to be so much fun. So the first thing we need to do is select the ice cream. Now we're going to go right over here in our toolbar to the object selection tool. The keyboard shortcut for that is W. So the object selection tool, I'm going to hover over this ice cream. I can simply click on there. And as you can see, it's made it into a selection. Now I can hold shift and click on this other bit of ice cream, and that's going to add to my selection. Now you can see it missed a little bit of an area right there. That's not that big of a deal. You can hit L for your lasso or simply go to your selection brush tool, which I really love. So selection brush tool will allow you to paint a selection. So let's go ahead and click there and we're just going to fill this in real quick. You can see just how quick and easy that was. Fantastic. So now all of this ice cream is perfectly selected. We're ready for our gradient. And for that, we're going to be using the gradient tool. So our gradient tool is located right over here. You can hit G for the keyboard shortcut for the gradient tool. Now up at the very top, you're going to have two options. Classic gradient, you don't have a lot of control. This is a kind of an older version of the gradient. The new gradient, this is what we want. You can change the colors at any time. So we're going to click on gradient. Now here for your colors, we have a drop down here and we have a couple basics. But check this out. I have all these different colors that I can choose from. Let's open up our purples. We're just going to go start by clicking on any one of these colors. You can change the colors at any time, so don't worry. But we're going to start with this. That looks pretty good. Now, we have a few different options for shapes. We can do a linear gradient, which will just fade from one color to another. The radial gradient will do it out in a circle. And then these will just be a few different shapes for the gradient. OK, so we have our ice cream selected. Looks really good. We have our gradient and we're ready to go. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click here from the top and drag down just like that. And look at this. You can see we have a gradient now going from this color all the way down to this color. And it looks really, really good. Now, what we need to do is change the blend mode of this layer to be the color blend mode. And that's going to change the color. OK, so all we have to do is go right here on the layer. You're going to see right now the layer uh, blend mode is set to normal. We're just going to click there. We're going to go all the way down to the very bottom to where it says color. There we go. So you just want to make sure this is color and you're good to go. Now that it's set to color, look, we've really changed the color. But here's where the fun part comes in. I can still move this at any time. For instance, if I want to take this control and I want to move it over there, maybe you want to put this over here, I can move these at any time and change how this gradient looks. Not only that, but I can actually change these colors. So if I click on one of these colors, there we go. Here in my contextual taskbar, you're going to see I now have that color highlighted. So let's go ahead and click there. And now you can see I can change it to any other color that I want and get a really interesting effect. I kind of like this sun, like sun drop effect. There we go. That's looking really good. Let's go ahead and hit OK and look at that. Again, you can move this around and kind of change how this gradient looks at any point in time. I think that looks really good. Now, we're going to do the same thing for our background. So for this, again, we're going to want to make a selection. So let's go ahead and start off with our object selection tool. Keyboard shortcut's going to be W. We're going to go ahead and select this ice cream down there. And then for this one, it's kind of wanting to select the whole bowl as well. So I might not want that. What we're going to do instead is use our selection brush tool. So let's hold shift and we're just going to simply add to this area with the selection brush tool. We're going to paint right down there and bring it up there. And now we have a new selection. From here, we're going to copy and do the same process. So let's go ahead and grab our gradient tool. So we're going to hit G for the gradient. Now, here is a great selection because let's go ahead and choose a different gradient this time. We're just going to choose this gradient. OK, but you're going to see what's happening is it's changing the gradient of my original gradient. So I'm on the gradient layer, 
but it keeps wanting to change this gradient. Everything that I do is to keep trying to change this gradient. So if you want to create a new gradient, what you're going to want to do is hold shift and then click and drag because I'm still on my gradient fill layer. So let's hold shift and then I can click and drag and now I have a new gradient and that's going to be right over here. How nice is that? Okay, so remember this layer, we set it to a color blending mode. So this other layer, we're going to also change this to a color blend mode. I'm going to click here, go all the way to the bottom. It's off my screen so you can't see it, but it's set to color. If you want more subtle, you can change this to a hue blending mode as well, okay? So both hue and color are, are going to work for you. Color is just gonna be a little bit more vibrant. Okay, and now you can change each one of these just as you'd like. And even, you can click on each individual color and change them, or you can actually just click right through all of these different color presets and look at this. You can find something that you like, and I think that looks absolutely delicious. There we go. I just, I'm, I'm kind of getting hungry right now. All right, let's go ahead and click on our other one. And then we can click on our presets right here for the colors. Let's go ahead and scroll over. And here we can see all these different colors for the ice cream. Of course, you can go in through your different colors here as well. There we go. That looks fantastic. And maybe I just want to change this one just a little bit as well. All right, there we go. Look how nice and colorful that is. We're just going to change this one from normal to color as well and click through all of our different gradients. So you can see just how fun and easy this is. Any color in Photoshop, basically all you have to do is start by making a selection. There we go. And simply grading that gradient and you're good to go. Here's our image before and or after. So you can see how simple this process really is. Just start by making a selection of the object you'd like to change. Go ahead and grab your gradient tool, create a custom gradient, and then be sure to change the blend mode of that layer to either hue or color. From there, you can choose different gradients from the drop-down window to find one that you love, or you can simply click on each individual control item on either side and change the color to make it custom. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give us a big thumbs up if you did. And if you wanna get more free Photoshop tutorials, simply click on subscribe. Thanks again. I'll learn you later. Bye, everyone.